Hi, Gary from Mr. G Shave here. Saturday again. God, the week's flown by. I think the alcohol probably had something to do with it. <laughs> um, yeah, I did go out for a few beers last night. I was I was well behaved this time. I'm not so sure about tonight, but we'll see. Um, right. So, what am I using today? Software-wise, I'm going a uh, little bit of menthol. Well, a little bit. The, the pre-shave's quite a lot of menthol. And that's PAA the Cube. So I hope you can see that. Um, I'm then following that up with Goodfellas Smile Lemon and... Is it Lemon and Mint? Lemon Mint, or whatever. Lemon Mint Menta a Limone. There you go. I've used this a few times before, but not many. Um, I don't know whether you can see it almost looks like it's got a growth on top, but that's how it came. And it's perfectly good. Following that up with, as you guessed, Thayer's Lemon Witch Hazel. And Goodfellas Smile Lemon Mint Aftershave. And finishing off with Nivea Men Active Age 6-in-1. I need the active bit. <laughs> <laughs> Haven't found it yet, but... Um, the uh, hardware bowl is the Giles Shaving Co. Shallow Bowl. Another beautiful bowl. Certainly bigger, if I show you um, the Captain's Choice, which this bowl is based on. You can see that the Giles Shaving Co. bowl is quite a bit bigger. Um, if I show you the back, just goes to show. I mean, there's quite a difference in size there. So it is bigger than the um, Captain's Choice. And I think it's better because it's got that grippy bit on the bottom. But there you go. So that's the bowl of the day. The brush of the day, I've been soaking. Let me just squeeze some of the water out. Is the Prorazzo Bore or Omega Bore. So Omega make this for Prorazzo or, or name it. As you can see, it still has the Omega sign on the bottom. So, <clears throat> and then the razor. This has got a Rockwell blade in it on its second use. This is the Rex Envoy. I, I love the engineering of this. Absolutely stunning. Really stunning. It's got a, a registration number on the, on the back. Um, beautiful. Work of art. There's no overhang. Completely covered. So that's the razor I'm using today. That's the one I fancied using anyway. So as usual, I'm going to get myself ready and I'll be right back. Right, I'm back. Pre-shave is on. Give me a little rub in. And I've also lathered up just to save a bit of time. Because I notice I've been waffling on a lot. <laughs> and going up to 35 minutes at times on previous videos. So I need to sort of get them back down below the 30 minute mark. As long as I'm below 30 minutes, I'm you know quite happy with that. So, right, as I say, I've already lathered up. This is a stunning brush and a stunning soap. Um, but just to give you an idea, there's so much lather here from a very small amount of soap. I think I've got too much. But, so let's just paint this on. It's literally made a stunning amount of lather. <clears throat> good Fellow Smile is a, is a really good soap and if you haven't tried it, it's well worth a go. It's an Italian soap, um, I believe. Um, and really, really nice. 
This lemon mint wor is working very well with this PAA pre-shave. Um, it really does combine. It's probably the best combination I've tried. Um, but yeah. Beautiful scent on this. I wouldn't say this is actually a strong scent, but it's a, a very pleasant summery scent. Um, just trying to get some lather off the handles. <clears throat> and it's it's probably the most, most authentic lemon for, uh, scent that I've tried. <clears throat> um, you know, if you were to find a, a, a lemon tree and pick one straight off the lemon tree and smell that, I think that's the smell you'd get. Right, so first pass. Rockwell blade, second use on this Rockwell. I can really feel the blade. Very nice. Mowing through the hair. This is definitely not as smooth as the Wilkins, Gillette Wilkinson. But it is doing the job very well. Um, I don't have the Rex adjustable. I don't feel the need for it because this is perfect for me. Um, I, you know, I, if I bought the adjustable, I'd probably try and set it to feel exactly like this blade feel right now. So I don't see any reason to buy the adjustable version of this. Extremely happy with the way this shaves. Excellent weight to this razor being, you know, stainless steel. And it's so, you know, it's, it's a beautiful piece of engineering. Oh, that's so nice. I've been looking forward to this shave. I was trying to think yesterday what I was going to use and then the Envoy just kept popping up in my head. And I thought, you know what, let's go for it. You know, I haven't used it, I haven't shown it any love recently, so. And I think I recently saw, I forget who, but somebody, one of the YouTubers has recently used the uh, Envoy. Oh, look at this. I mean, this is just ridiculous. <laughs> oh, dear me. It's mad. It's coming off everywhere. And again, the menthol is definitely there still. Feeling even cooler now. So I'm guessing that there, this mint has got some cooling effect to it. But this is beautiful. This actually looks a bit dry, but I assure you I've put in a ton of water. Um, but it's doing the job. Beautifully.
nice cooling effect. I, I think on, on its own, I don't think this um, soap has a massive cooling effect, but with that PAA, it certainly does. So across the grain on this side, as usual, straight up. Much smoother on the second pass. As you'd expect, really. I mean, that's pretty much BBS right there. <clears throat> there is a little bit there to pick up, but the rest, yeah, maybe a little bit more than I thought, but it does need a third pass, but it's close to BBS. Excellent, excellent. I don't know how, but I can taste menthol. <clears throat> yeah, it does definitely need a third pass. I mean, I've still got loads, absolutely loads. I mean, this is obscene amount of, of lather and it's probably a little bit more than a pea size amount of soap that I used in the bowl and it's just exploded. Beautiful. So against the grain pass, I hope everybody's having a good weekend so far. Uh, for those of us in the UK, I hope, you know, a few of us have um, had our first experiences of the pub or the bar, your local bar. So this is against the grain on this side. Yeah, my, uh, my own local pub, or my favourite local pub, only opened, I think it was on Thursday, it was supposed to open uh, yesterday, but I went yesterday, and it was so nice to sit in the garden and have a couple of my favourite sort of lagers. I, I sometimes I'll chop and change between a bitter and a lager. Depends on my mood, but yesterday was definitely a lager day. Uh, there's next to no pickups here. The slickness, the residual slickness is, is stunning. Absolutely stunning. That could, that's a combination, I think, of the PAA and the soap 
you know, I, I literally don't need to re-lather for any pickups. I mean, there is some pickups there at the usual spots. <clears throat> but because I've got so much of this lather left, I'm going to use it. Why not, he says. Yeah, very nice. Very nice indeed. Beautiful scent. The lemon is really coming through now. Um, really enjoying it. So, Couple of stragglers there, got them. <clears throat> the feel of this blade just reminds you not to add pressure. There's plenty of pressure in the weight of the razor. But I reckon if you added any further pressure, this could give you quite a nasty cut. That's BBS. So, Saturday shave done. I'm going to get myself cleaned up and I'll be right back. Right, that's me all cleaned up. Time for the cold rinse. <sighs> On with the alum. Right. No burn really slightest. I wouldn't even give it a score of 1 out of 10. A little bit here, maybe a 1 or a 2 out of 10 there, but I, it's my problem area there. My beard growth is like a starburst. It goes everywhere and it's not even as organized as a starburst. There's no center, it just goes in all directions. So no burn at all so that tells me that you know whilst i could definitely feel the blade on that razor <clears throat> it's given me a very comfortable shave um, very nice indeed actually absolute bbs and i reckon if i'd used um, the Gillette Wilkinson in, the, in the, instead of the Rockwell, it would have been a much smoother shave. But maybe I'll try that on my next attempt if I remember. I'm soaking wet here. Um, right, let's go on with the Thayers. Oh, I do love this stuff. This is I saw somebody leaving a question, I think it was on a Facebook page, about what was a good witch hazel, and I think everybody answered Thayer's. <laughs> um, I'd also recommend Boots, it's pretty good. If you, if you, like, if you don't mind the, the tea tree smell, um, and I, I really quite like it, um, but it's very nice indeed. Right, on with... The aftershave splash, I do this every time, clear. As you can see, it's absolutely clear. 
you can almost see me through the glass and then you give it a shake and it's cloudy bit of magic for today's magic trick I give you cloudy aftershave so put some of this on It's, it's definitely the zest of a lemon. It's, it's all about the zest of a lemon. It's, it's almost got a salty, soury smell to it, scent to it. It's very different, but very nice, very refreshing. Um, <clears throat> very enjoyable. This has been a great shave, especially with that uh, PAA to start, the PAA the cube to start. Right, on with the active age, or act your age. <laughs> Just one squeeze will do. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is the end of my shave and a great shave it was really enjoyed that great combinations great shave so that's it from me I will see you on Wednesday next week for my next straight shave it's bye bye from the Rex Envoy one of the most beautiful uh, roses I've got absolutely stunning uh, and it's bye-bye from me. See you on Wednesday.